Hi, welcome to Dark Dragon Dust Math. We are subtracting integers today. Um, so let's get started. Um, so if I have positive 10 and I subtract 25, I um, don't know what that was. What I do if I ever come across a question like this is I think of which one of these two is the biggest because I could say 10 minus 25 and like basically maybe 10 things to sort of subtract 25, obviously I'm going to have negative things. Um, I don't necessarily think writing it down like this makes a whole lot of sense. Um, so what I do is I say 25 minus 10, which is 15, but recognize that the negative number was actually the larger of the two. So make sure that my final answer is negative. Maybe think of it as 25 minus 10 and then a minus on the outside. Um, and if I do that, negative 15 makes sense. Um, so if a diver went 25 feet below the surface of the ocean, so, excuse me, 24 feet below, um, and then 47 feet further down, what is the diver's position relative to the surface? So if we think of the surface as zero, um, this diver is goes down 24 feet, and then she goes down again uh, 47 feet. So this is basically negative 24 minus 47. So these have the exact same sign. So anytime I have two things that have the same sign, what I'm really doing is I'm just saying, okay, um, this is 24 plus 47, but my answer is going to be negative. So 7 plus 4, that's 11, carry the 1. Uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7, so this is negative 71 feet. Um, so the diver is negative 71 feet um, below the surface. Of the ocean. Um, okay, do so Padawans, you guys got the next two questions. Ignore what, the, what just happened. All right, so here, if you've not watched the counters video, what I'm about to do is not going to make a whole lot of sense. So just kind of keep that in mind. Let's zoom in just a little bit more. So if I do 32 minus negative 8, so Hopefully, if you watched the last video, we realized that this is the same thing as plus 8. 32 minus a negative 8 is the same thing as 32 plus 8. Uh, a negative of a negative makes a positive. So this right here just becomes a positive. So 32 plus 8, I can do that. That's equal to 40. And there's no big deal. Now, this right here. Negative of negative makes a positive. So this actually becomes negative 15 plus 21. So again, I have two different signs, so I am going to have to subtract. 21 is the larger of the two, so this basically just becomes 21 minus 15, which is fine. I can do that. 21 minus 15 is equal to 6. So this answer is equal to 6. This answer is equal to 40. And then this one. I've got multiple of these, so this one's going to become a positive this is going to become a positive. So when I do that, I make sure I rewrite the question. This is negative 11 plus 5 plus 20. So if I have uh, more than two numbers that I'm adding together, I make sure I combine the ones with the same sign first. So basically 20 plus 5 becomes 25. I'm combining these two right here. So that's 25. So negative 11 plus 25. Um, those are different signs. Anytime I have different signs, I subtract. So 25 minus 11. 25 minus 11. Well, 5 minus 1 is 4. 2 minus 1 is 1 is 14. All right, try these out. Um, we want to find the distance between 2 and negative 6. So distance is interesting. Distance is actually a positive number. Distance is always a positive number. The thing is, though, is that even though it's a positive number, uh, 
we think of it, we find it by subtracting. So uh, what I mean by this, well, I'll show you in a second. So let's imagine we had these two numbers on a number line. We wanted to find the distance between. Um, let's say 2, 1, 0, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 6 here. Um, if we were going to find the distance between these two numbers, we would just kind of count. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the distance between two and negative 6 is 8. Um, now there's there's other ways to do this. Um, we could have said 2 minus negative 6. Remember I said distance is like subtracting. Um, so that's the answer. Let's block that off. 2 minus negative 6. Well that's equal to 2 plus 6 which is 8. We could have said um, negative 6 minus 2. Well the problem with that is it's equal to negative 8. So if you do it like this, we have to recognize that you always have to take the absolute value. So that's equal to positive 8. Um, another way to look at it is to, say, is to take both numbers when we're doing distance, make them positive, and then add them together. So this could have been 2 plus 6, which is obviously 8. Um, any way you look at it is fine. But we have to realize that distance is equal to um, positive. And to find it, you usually subtract. For example, determine the difference in elevation between Death Valley, California. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, it just it fell. Um, determine the difference between elevation between Death Valley, California, 282 feet below sea level, and the summit of California's Mount Davidson. 928 feet above sea level. So we have two numbers. We have negative 282 feet and positive 928 feet. And think if we started at the summit and we went down all the way into Death Valley, what is the distance that we would have traveled? Um, so what I like to do is I just take 928 minus negative 282. I put the bigger and one on top, usually, whatever the bigger number is when I find distance between two things, uh, and I subtract. So 928 minus negative 282 um, becomes 928, that is not a 9, 928 plus 282. And we can add those together. It's a 0, 1, 1, 1. So the distance between Death Valley and Mount Davidson is 1,210 feet. So again, we want to think about this distance between, oh, I'm going to write this up here, uh, distance between two values is the larger minus the smaller value. And it always has to be positive. Okay. Um, and I think I'm done. Congratulations. Math. <laughs>